Glennon's got no one behind him. Just the quarterback waiting for the snap. Safarian Jenkins there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. A little jumpy there by that defensive front. Encroachment of defense. On that first down. The Eagles come out in a dime package. Glennon's going to take it from the gun. Surveys. It's intercepted. Jenkins is taking a knee here, so the ball will be spotted at the 20. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Eagles offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Second down and 10. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Gains 15. He's now pushed past 120 yards rushing today. Murray's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Now first and 10. Murray. Moore's going to make the tackle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. Slashes to the left side. The defense stops the clock. Following that timeout, defense back out on the field. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. for the sack. Timeout called by the defensive Timeout unit. Defense. Coming to the line at the 33. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. Bradford's got it in the gun. It's complete to Brent Selleck. Selleck's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Third down now. Bradford's back in shotgun formation. Got hit on release. The defense did a very good job there on third and long. They got the incomplete pass, but it's the work they did on first and second down. They made it tough on the offense, so third long, everything goes to the advantage of the defense. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. The clutch kick, 
and the three points, and virtually everyone here knows that that clinched it. Yes, that did it, Jim. Now you can just take a deep breath knowing all that hard work during the week. It came through for you. It paid off, and you got a victory. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. The Buccaneers offense back on the field, trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 30. Glennon's pass will go for an incompletion this time. This is a big third down snap. Glennon's alone in the backfield. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 30. Lions is marked. First down. Pressure on every snap now. The Eagles defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Picks up maybe three. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. It's an empty backfield for Glennon this time. Mike Evans makes the play. And that's a gain of maybe five. Coming up, third down, a huge moment. Just about a minute left. It would take a miracle to pull this one out. Secures it with two hands. Now on first down. Every snap crucial the rest of the way. Here's the first snap after the big play. Glennon's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Hall's got the catch and the first. This is why teams are always practicing the two-minute offense for situations just like this. You have the football under two minutes to go. You're losing. You pick up some good yards, and your player is smart enough to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Glennon's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. First down and 10. Almost intercepted. Uh, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. While that touchdown edges them closer to the lead, it may be a case of too little, too late in this game, Phil. Well, it could be, Jim, but listen, I'm going to say this. It's never over. Remember 2015, the Seattle Seahawks had the Green Bay Packers in their place. I thought the game was over many times, but the Seahawks hung in there, and they found a way to pull it out. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Coming through in the clutch with a two-point conversion to get within one score in this one. Hey, you know, it looks like it would be a simple call down there. You're close to the goal line. Just call anything you want, but hard to deceive the defense when you're this close. Nice job that time by the offense. The Buccaneers head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. The Buccaneers come to the line with a bunch set. First and ten. Coleman's the receiver on the screen. 
keeps his legs moving. Touchdown in the late stages. Well, how about that drive by the offense? My gosh, you're behind. It's late in the game, and they methodically just march it down there and get the touchdown and take the lead. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Makes the PAT. So they've stormed back in the final moments to take the lead. And now they just need to hold on here as they get set for the kickoff. are prepared to return the kickoff. Murray's running this one out. Well, partner, it looks like it all comes down to this, and when this team finds itself in these kinds of situations, that man right there is almost always the one they turn to. Yeah, they do, and rightly so. That's why they pay him money. That's why he's one of the star running backs in the NFL. Oh, no. So you don't go away from him in a situation like this. Give him that football and let him do his thing. And you can feel the tension in the air. Another takeaway. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. The Eagles' defense has not made a stop for a loss throughout the game. And now they'll finally get one as a result of a kneel down to close it out. Hey, man, you are tough. Yeah, I'll tell you. Well, you, you kind of explained the whole day, didn't you, about this defense. It just was not their day. They did not play well. They were not tough enough or physical enough, and they didn't have the emotion that you have to have on the defensive side here in the NFL. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Second down here after that run play. Glennon's standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. It was a close one. And at the final whistle, what a win for that one team. It sure is. What a, what a thrill to win a close game in the NFL. Now, you think about it, how hard it is just to get one win and how tough it was out there. And hang on, man, great feeling. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.